I have therefore decided, with the enthusiastic backing of the Prime Minister and my colleagues, to launch a pilot network of new schools in the urban areas, including the disadvantaged inner city. These will be called City Technology Colleges, CTC. This week, that pledge became a reality in Bradford. Then, before an audience, including the CTC's first students and their parents, he performed the official opening ceremony. Outside, there was a more critical audience of teachers from local authority schools, which they say will lose out both in pupils and funding to the CTC. This is the birth of our new college. We've got an, a golden opportunity and we mustn't lose it. Those children from this inner city area are getting the chance to acquire skills that some businessmen claim aren't being taught in local authority schools. The company are actually based within the college. The first time the children see some teachers may be electronically, before they see them in the flesh. The method by which they learn could be completely different. We can use such things as word processors, art programs, desktop publishing, uh, to raise their interest in the, in the work that we're doing. In everything that we do, we will attempt to interweave modern technology in all its forms. So we hope to create a learning experience which is highly motivational, uh, which is full of enterprise, and which is related to the world into which they will go when they leave this college. So 25 years ago, Dixon City was founded as one of only 15 city technology colleges up and down the country. They were to be beacons of excellence which would transform state education in their localities. And ever since, Dixon City has been at the forefront of education, playing a national role, doing things differently, constantly looking for new ways to make learning exciting and powerful. And as an academy from 2005, City now works more closely with other local schools while retaining its independence and its own very unique culture. And in that time, its influence has spread right across our city, across both primary and secondary, as we've taken on schools in difficulty or opened up new schools to meet local need. As the second most oversubscribed school in the country, with over 1,500 applications for 165 places, I think we have a moral duty to grow our family to meet that parental demand. Since 1990, almost 4,500 students have passed through City's doors. Today, though, in this year alone, another 4,500 students are currently enjoying a Dixon's education. Our family of schools has grown steadily over the past few years and will keep growing steadily and carefully over the coming ones. And without Dixon City, none of this will be happening.